Thai television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Declaration on the formation of the government of Western Armenia. Government of Western Armenia on the recognition of the genocide against the Armenians by the Syrian parliament. Commemorate the centennials of the independence of Western Armenia and the centenary of the Treaty of Severs, a question of dignity. The thickness of snow in Bagash, Western Armenia reached 3 meters. During this, Armenian wines are presented at the Wine Paris Expo. On January 28, 2011, the National Council of Armenians of Western Armenia issued a statement. On January 27, the seventh sitting of the Legal Committee of the National Council of Western Armenia, headed by Armena Abramian, took place. As reported by the press service of the National Council of Armenians of Western Armenia, the committee session summed up the results of the previous six sessions and submitted the text of the official statement of the National Council of Ratification. The National Council of Armenians of Western Armenia made an official ratification statement on February 4 from the French capital Paris. The government of Western Armenia, which stands still with the people and the leadership of Syrian Arab Republic, welcomes the Syrian parliament's decision to morally accept the massacres of the Armenians by Turks who show hostile attitude towards all the indigenous people of the region. Western Armenia considers the territory of Syria a natural continuation of its territory and recognizes it as a precious sister country, just as the territories of Western Armenia and Cilicia that were seized by artificially created country. On this occasion, we officially declare our readiness to stand with the people and the state of Syria with all our means. Government of Western Armenia. On the initiative of the Circle of International Friendships located in Geneva, Mrs. Lydia Margosian, member of the National Council of Western Armenia and member of the Parliament of Western Armenia, presented a conference on the rights of Armenians of Western Armenia and centenary of the Treaty of Service on February 10, 2020. Mrs. Margosian first congratulated the centenary of the existence of the association founded in 1920 in the wake of the League of Nations by Edouard Chapuza, director of Journal of Geneva which works to bring together representatives of the diplomatic, political, academic, cultural, economic and information world with Geneva society. Mrs. Marquesian mentioned that 2020 was an important year not only for association but also for Armenian nation, because 2020 marked not only the centenary of the independence of Western Armenia but also the signing of the Treaty of Severs. During this presentation, Mrs. Marquesian touched upon the issues from legal and historical point of view of the situation of exile in which the majority of Armenians find themselves, that of the occupation of the state of Western Armenia and of oppression of population of survivors remained in Western Armenia following a colonization since the 16th century. Mrs. Marquesian also spoke about the conditions under which Western Armenia was recognized in fact and in law and those under which the Treaty of Service was signed on August 10, 1920. The news of the wars in the Middle East gave the opportunity to show on the political side in what kind of treaty the Treaty of Service was, which not only has forced 100 years after its signature but also is the key of a peace future in the region and the power to restore dignity to the Armenian people of Western Armenia. The weather that has kept Bagash under its control for a week now continues to have a negative impact on daily life. Houses, buses, traffic signs and parked vehicles in the center of the city were left under the snow. In the highlands, the thickness of snow exceeds 4 meters. Authorities say that the state administration's management teams continue uninterrupted snow removal works. We have already approached the Armenian holy during this holiday, which according to the Haikian sacred Tomar, will take place on Haram day of the month, which is February 15, according to the Gregorian calendar. According to the Armenian Haikian sacred doctrine, during this is one of our four holidays symbolizing one of our four elements of nature, fire. According to the wisdom of our ancestors, through the fire of during this, we help winter to transfer into spring. That is the Armenian New Year Easter, which is the Arek day of Arek month, March 21. And according to the Armenian spiritual tradition, on this day the sky and the earth kiss each other, which is considered the symbolic holiday of lovers and newlyweds. Centuries later, the West called Valentine's Day the same day, thus forgetting the Armenian one. Traditional lovers jump over the flame to clear and sanctify their love. You can find the full article on our website. A selection of nearly 40 wines, red, white, rose, natural and organic wines from 11 Armenian estates is showcased at the Wine Paris Expo 2020, the Armenian Embassy in France informs. Wine Paris is a major expo on the wine professional's calendar. The trade fair serves as a presentation platform for more than 2,000 wine growers and producers from a wide range of regions. 
Now let us represent your attention a song by Agung. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.